Hi everyone, welcome to an exciting video on my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the fastest we can learn how to code Python for data science in 2023. I've been in the field of data science for the past four years and my experiences stem from my grad degree program where I utilize data science and machine learning in my research. And also I had a recent internship with Capital One as a data scientist. And um, these experiences have taught me a lot and um, taking my mind back when I started um, in this field how and one of the most basic skills i had to learn was programming and of course the chosen language is python but when i started learning how to code in python i made a lot of mistakes that um slowed down my progress now these mistakes are surely related to like the resources that i use as well as the approach that i adopted and this is the motivation for doing this video that if i were to start all over again how would i learn how to program python for data science if you are new here, my name is Prospera and I transitioned from a non-CS background to data science. Um, on, this, on this channel, we talk about data science, how you can transition to the field. We bring others on board to share their experiences and their stories as well. If it's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the content and share with others as well. This video is going to be split up in a number of sections. First of all, I'm going to start by talking about why Python, why not any programming language. Then from there, we'll move I want to talk about the common mistakes that people made that I also made when I was learning how to code Python for data science. Then lastly, I'm going to talk about the approach. That's the recommended approach, which is very practical, hands-on, and resource-driven and oriented. That's going to help you to learn Python for, for data science within the shortest period of time and gain the skills that you need. So why Python? There are so many programming languages out there. C++, Java, R, SAS, MATLAB, you name them. So where are we going for Python? Python is very open source, easy to use, and it has a lot, a ton of libraries for data science and machine learning. Also, Python is very versatile. You can use Python for data science, Python for automation, Python for um, web development, so on and so forth. And these are the reasons why we are going for Python. Now, let's talk about the mistakes that people usually make when they're learning how to program Python for data science. Now, the first mistake in regards to learning resources or materials that they use. As I said, Python is very versatile. You can use Python for so many things aside data science. Because of this, there are so many tutorials online, YouTube, Coursera, Udemy, LinkedIn, you name it. There are so many um, resources out there. But the mistake people usually make is that they fail to pick a tutorial or resource that is directly focused on data science and machine learning. With this, you end up wasting a lot of time um, learning things that are irrelevant to what you are trying to study, that's data science. Now, how do you know a particular tutorial fits what you are trying to study? As a data science or a beginner in data science, you are trying to learn skills such as how to manipulate data, how to create visualizations, how to clean data, and ultimately how to, how to build machine learning models. So if the tutorial doesn't fit into this particular curriculum, then it's not the right tutorial for you. The second mistake that people usually make with regards to the approach, the learning approach or um, approach that they adopt. When I started learning how to code, I was signed up for all these courses on Coursera, YouTube, um, in the form of video lectures where I watched an instructor go through a series of code, lines of code, and um, I realized that this wasn't efficient. As you watching somebody code doesn't mean that you're also learning how to code, because most of the time I end up not finishing the course, and uh, I also, I mean, dozing off before the computer, like, I mean, I'm watching the, the video lecture, and but I realize I'm, I'm dozing off. It wasn't efficient, it wasted my time and definitely slowed down my progress. So what's the best way to learn how to code? What's the best way to learn how to program Python for data science? Well, let's find out. I believe the best way to learn Python for data science is by first of all, finding resources or materials that are tailored towards data science. Secondly, you should utilize a learning approach or a strategy that is very practical and hands-on. Now, how do we go about doing this? There's a platform called Cargo. It's a community for data science and machine learning engineers. There are so many resources on Cargo as well. In the courses section of Cargo, there are so many tutorials that are directly tailored towards Python for data science. And this is an approach that I highly recommend. It's very practical, helps you to, helps you to, to practice along the way. It's very hands-on and directly tailored or specific to, to data science. Now, if you are ready, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so let's get straight into it. So we'll go to the platform, Cargo. Um, dot com. So as I was saying, Cargo, Cargo provides the biggest community for data science and machine learning engineers. This platform, you can find competitions being hosted, different data sets being posted here, um, 
code samples and snippets, uh, the discussion section. And um, obviously, we are interested in the courses section over here. So we'll get straight into it under the courses. Um, so as you can see, you have a list of courses that are directly tailored towards Python for data science. So Python for data science. So uh, you can see about 15 to 20 courses over here. But as a beginner, I assure you, you don't have to take all these courses before you start working on projects. Remember, the goal is to integrate or inculcate what the project-based learning, the project-based idea into <clears throat> whatever you are doing. So um, let's get uh, straight into it. So the first, the first course you should take over here, um, is intro to programming. So this is number one, intro to programming. So you might not have any coding experience. We take you to what is programming, um, I'll do basic um, algebra and programming, basic addition data types, and just, yeah, it's that. Then the second one you should take is the Python um, course. It introduces you to Python for data science, uh, what you need to know about Python for the basic syntaxes for that. Now the next, one would be to um to take the pandas. The pandas uh cause us a third one. Why are we taking pandas? Why do you want to take pandas as a, as a third one? As a beginner data scientist or someone that's trying to transition the field of data skills that you need to learn, right? So mostly working on a data science project, you have your data. How do you read your data to the platform? How do you import your data? The data could be any form, structured or unstructured. How do you read that data? How do you manipulate that data? How do you, you want to select a few columns, a few rows, filter the data? How do you do that? Pandas is a very powerful, um, it's a very powerful package that helps you do all of that. Now, the next step after learning how to go toward manipulate data and all that, we'll go to how to visualize data. Very important. As a data scientist, you are trying to create um, analyze your data and derive insights. And mostly you present uh, your insights in the form of what um, visualization or visuals, create histograms, bar plots, all that. Um, Cause that's the best way to uh, to present what um, insights or out of data. Um, so for after, after data visualization, <clears throat> um, I will take a pause we will take a pause and take our first data science project. Now, this first data science project is going to be based on so I'll take a sample data. So you can just go straight to the data set section over here and take, um, there's so many data sets um, over there. You can just pick one, uh, just go through the process, read your data into your notebook. Uh, you can decide to work on the platform. It has an embedded uh, Jupyter notebook, or you can work with your own Jupyter notebook, download the data, import that data, pandas will help you to manipulate it. The skills that you learned from number three will help you to manipulate the data and all that. And then the next thing we to vi create visual. So we have categorical columns, we have um, continuous columns. The skills that you learn in the data visualization section will help you to uh, create those visuals. Now that becomes your first data science project. It becomes your first data science project. So, um, after that, what do we do? We want to take it to the next level. The next level is um, introducing some machine learning, some um, advanced feature engineering. Um, so the next one I recommend, next course I recommend is the intro to machine learning. That will be the fifth, uh, the fifth one. Then from there, <laughs> you can take the uh, the intermediate machine learning. That's the fifth one. And then you can also take the feature engineering. So sometimes you want to create additional features, um, additional features from data that you have from the already existing features that you have. So this is where you need uh, to learn the skills of feature engineering. So after completing this, uh, that's um, five, six, and seven, then we can get to our second data science project. Now, what do we do? You can stick to the data set that already used for the data visualization or the exploratory data analysis projects and just 
continue working on that project and uh, build machine learning models depending on the kind of problem that you are trying to tackle. Most of the data set on Kaggle, it explains what you are trying to achieve. Are you trying to do classification? Are you trying to do regression? Are you trying to classify whether a customer will purchase an item or not? Are you trying to classify whether um, a transaction is fraudulent? Are you trying to predict the housing price in a particular city? So it, that tells you. So after taking the machine learning um, courses, it will give you an idea the kind of models to fit and order. Um, so that would help you complete um, lab projects. That's if you want to continue working on um, that same data set. Or if you want to pick a different data set and build machine learning models, you can go ahead and, um, and do that. So that, in a way, um, helps you to, so by the time you are done, you have, you have two, two projects or a whole project on data science. So you can see how very practical and hands-on this is. So instead of watching a YouTube video and following someone while all the code, you are actually learning by doing, by practicing, so you are not wasting time. So this is my recommended way of um, learning Python for data science. This platform, I don't take it for granted, very, very useful. Uh, it really helped me a lot. So I hope you take advantage of what's on here and um, and you make, it, make a good use out of it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you, you enjoyed it. Um, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts you think about um, this video of Python for Data Science um, in general. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the content, and uh, share with others as well. And um, I'll see you in the next one.